Fake news is one problem, losing credibility of fact news is another. Changing the base here, not allowing an organization to publish its findings, shell companies becoming a part of GDP calculations. These and many others are the emerging problems of the fact news versus fake news dilemma. But our objective for the exam is simple. Mug up GDP forecasts and Xerox them in the paper. Debate on fact news versus fake news for another day. Let's start with the discussion on GDP forecasts given by various organizations for India and the world. So let us discuss GDP forecasts for word number one. Then we will talk about GDP forecasts for India. And then I will also discuss certain tips which can be followed by you in order to make it easy for you to remember all these GDP forecasts because I remember and I know that it's so difficult to remember, recall these GDP forecasts, they're always very confusing. Number of questions expected in the upcoming exam from GDP forecast, about two to three questions in phase one of NABARD examination. So keep this in mind and take it very seriously. Let's start with GDP forecast for the world. Number one, World Bank Global Economic Prospect Mid-Year Update which came on in June 2019, a very recent one, so chances are very high, has given a GDP forecast for the world as 3% 2018, 2.6% for 2019-20, 2.7% for 2021, and 2.8% for 2021 to 2022. One interesting thing that you should remember here is whenever we are talking about world GDP forecast, by this I mean that GDP uh, forecast given by word organizations. So what exactly happens is when an international organization says GDP forecast for 2018, it means GDP forecast for 2018-19. Simply, uh, similarly, when it says 2019, it means 2019-20. Whereas when India comes out with GDP forecasts, when India is saying 2019, that means 2018-19. When it says 2020, that means 2019, 2020. So when it is saying 2019, that means 2019 is the ending year. Whereas when an international organization is 2019, is saying 2019, that means 2019 is the starting year. So that creates a lot of confusion among students, happens very often. And therefore, it's important that you remember this and keep it in mind. In fact, in the examination as well. So forecast given by World Bank for 2018, 19, 3% to 2.6% for 2019, 20, 2.7% and 2.8%. So it is 3, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8. That is the sequence. RBI's MPC has not given any world forecast. National Statistical Office has not given anything. FICCI has not given anything. NRA has not given anything. Uh, Asian Development Bank as of April 2019 has not given anything. IMF World Economic Outlook says 3.6, 3.3 and again 3.6 for 2018-19, 2019-20 and 2020-21. Similarly, Moody's says 3.3% for 18-19 and 2.9% approximately, it says about 2.96% for 2019-20. Okay. Morgan Stanley says 3.2% for 2019-20 and 3.4% for 2020-2021. UNWESP World Economic Situation and Prospects says 3% for 2018-19, 2.7% and 2.9%. You have to mug them up. There is no other way. For India, I have created a simplified chart that I will be sharing with you and I will be discussing very shortly. So stay tuned. Do not leave the video in between. SNP says 3.8% for 2018 19, 3.6% for 2019 20. Similarly, OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, says 3.51% for 2018 19, 3.18% and 3.36%. The only organization which is giving its forecast in double digits, okay? Double digits beyond the point, beyond the decimal. Double digits beyond the decimal so that kind of question can be asked but very uh, highly unlikely but you need to remember these digits it's very important now uh, what i have also done in this pdf and this pdf will be provided to you in the video in the description so 
you can download it from there. Uh, what I have also done is given all the uh, links, all the sources that have been used so that you can verify and at the same time the actual screenshots of the forecast given by various organizations have also been put here. So you can verify and you can try and go through these charts in order to be able to remember or recall these things better. Okay, let's move to the Indian forecasts. Now, now this is the basic chart or table that we have for Indian forecast, which is similar to the world forecast. But as you can see here, a lot of numbers are there. Now, all these numbers certainly are very confusing and it's very difficult to remember and recall these numbers. So I have rearranged the entire table in a different format. It is not NSSO here, it is NSO, National Statistical Office or Organization. So a rearrangement of the entire table has been made and what I have done is, I have divided the table into three major parts, 2018-19, 2019-20 and 2020-21. And I have divided into further parts, every part has been divided, let's name it as A, B, C. So this can be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. This way, all the parts have been divided into subparts and these subparts are percentages, the forecasts made by different organizations. For 2018-19, 6.8% forecast is made by three organizations, Monetary Policy Committee, National Statistical Office and Goldman Sachs. I believe it's simpler to remember, right? It's very simple to remember compared to the above table that we have where we have to remember every percentage given by different organizations separately. 7% again given by three organizations, Ind, RA, A Asian Development Bank and Moody's. 7.2% given by four organizations, World Bank, Fitch, Chrysler and World Economic Situation and Prospects. 7.04% given by only one, so you can remember it like this, 7.04%, 7.1% and 7.4% given by one organization each, IMF World Economic Outlook and Morgan Stanley respectively. Let's come to the second part which is for 2019-20, what are the forecasts? 7% is given by MPC, Morgan Stanley, WESP. 7.2% given by two organizations, ADB and Goldman Sachs. 7.3% given by four organizations, Chrysler, World Economic Outlook, NRA and Moody's. 7.5% by two organizations, 7.4 by one, 7.1 by two organizations, OECD giving uh, up to two decimal places and 6.8% given by one organization. Similarly, for 2021, 2020, 2021, the forecasts are given by lesser organizations, 7.1% by two, 7.3% by two, 7.5% by two organizations, 7.4% by Morgan Stanley and OECD, and finally 7.2% only by FICI. So, so this is the way you can try and remember these numbers easier. Of course, some students would like to go to the first table and would prefer going through the first table and that's perfectly all right. Every person has a different way of studying and therefore I am giving you different methods of remembering and recalling the same information. I hope this particular video was helpful. The purpose is to revise all these forecasts because two to three questions certainly coming in phase one and another two to three questions expected in phase two of NABARD which is coming up. When we talk about RBI, certainly important for the RBI exam also. Uh, when the RBI exam approaches, I will be revising these forecasts yet again. So do not worry about that. But all the students preparing for RBI and SEBI, keep this in mind again. Uh, remember and mug up these forecasts right away. Do not wait for me to come out with a revised table because the faster you remember them, faster you mug them up, the better it is going to be for you. Similarly, all the links and all the actual numbers in terms of screenshots have been provided here. Uh, so you can go through them, you can verify this information and you can try and remember it better through these uh, uh, charts that have been put forward along with their highlights which have been given here. I hope you like this lesson. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. 
because that way you will not be able to miss any information miss any further video that i create and if you like this video very much press the bell icon